Hello, this is Joanna from, or Joanna the Medium. Uh, thank you so much for coming back. These are going to be readings for July 2016. Um, right away, what I want to say is that I have been recording this, these readings um, at the end of June, and it has been like pulling teeth. Some of them I've had to record several times. Some of them, they kind of stopped. It just the energies were completely off. So um, hopefully it'll not translate uh, negatively into the readings. I don't feel so because when I finally got them out, the flow was there. Uh, but I don't know about you guys, but the um, end of June energetically felt really um off and it still feels that way because i'm still um as i'm talking to you right now it's um june 30th so i am recording this at the end of june um every single reading that i've done pretty much for the month of july seems to have a component of changes coming up now, this, these are not necessarily, these are not bad changes, but there is a definite feeling of um, transformation that will be taking place in the next four to six weeks. And this is pretty much with all, most of them, if not all of the readings that I recorded uh, from going from my memory. So that's something to keep in mind. It doesn't mean that it's going to be uh, bad, but there is definitely a lot of changes on a deep level for pretty much every one of you that this will resonate with. Okay. Um, let me just see if there's any more information. Of course, these readings are general. So if this reading doesn't make sense to you, you can listen to your sun sign or your rising sign as some of them will offer a greater picture or a more complete picture. Um, and of course, if it doesn't make sense to you this month, then maybe it's not the right reading for you. Um, as always, I love your comments. I read every single one of them. I respond to as much of these as I can. Uh, but time-wise, it's simply not feasible for me to do this. I also try to respond to all the emails I get, but I get so many emails every day. It's, it's, it's pretty much impossible at a certain point, point to get to back to all of you. But I want you to know, I truly, truly, truly appreciate your feedback. And I do um, read every single one. And I believe for all of you who have emailed me, I have emailed you back uh, within, within few days. Of course, if you would like a private reading, you can reach me at the information below. Also keep in mind, I do give free readings every other Sunday for two hours uh, during a live radio broadcast with another medium or whoever happens to be with me. So if you are looking for a little short reading or just don't want to have a full reading, uh, feel free to contact me that way and that information is provided down below. Um, approaching August readings, I will be away towards the very end of July. So just FYI, August readings might be a few days late. I just don't think I'm going to have enough time to record them all before, um, after I come back and before August starts. So um, I know a lot of you email me asking where are the videos for the month. So just FYI, it may be a few days late. I will try my best to make it as quickly as possible, but I also don't want to rush through it too much because then it's not really uh, giving a lot of value if it's just rushed. I just want, I want to do it properly. Uh, for those of you who have emailed me and who scheduled with me, uh, for private readings. I thank you so much. Uh, it has been an incredible journey up until this point, and it's something that I have not foreseen at all. And what I'm planning on doing as a thank you for all of you is when I reach 10,000 subscribers, and I'm about eight right now, um, I will do a special on my readings for limited, limited time. So um, keep watching for that and um, we'll go from there. So enough talking and without further ado, uh, let's start with the readings. I will see you soon. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo for July 2016. And just like before, I'm going to tune in and see if Spirit has any messages 
that they would like to um, begin with before I flip the cards over. It is a five card spread, but for some reason I have six cards. So that is interesting in itself. And the energies lately have been very wonky. So let's just see how this goes. Let me just connect this. Give me one second. And what I hear is new beginnings or new beginning is imminent at this point of your journey. Do not allow yourself to be held back by something that has been trapping you in your past. Now the word trap, it's uh, put in quotation marks because it is not a physical trap hopefully but it is a trap of your own making and he's showing me this has to do with your uh, critical thinking your mental thinking uh, or your mental activity for as long as you are looking at changing your outlook the choices and decisions that you are undertaking are imminent. And I do get a sense that you are embarking either on a new journey and another sign got this, or you are moving home, residence, or place of employment and all of those things would signify uh, embarking on a new journey I also hear the words that family is impressed with you um, I also see a symbol for uh, achievement which is a scroll a graduation scroll to me it is a symbol of achievement so perhaps for some of you this is to do with actual graduation and for others this is a um, metaphor for you having achieved something in the last little while I want to say six weeks two to three months six weeks or somewhere somewhere there two to three months but then I was also shown six weeks, so those things may be fairly independent. Uh, sorry about closing my eyes. When I close my eyes, that's when I see um, much more clearly. So new beginnings and you embarking on a new journey. So let's see what the cards have to say. So the first card that signifies your current situation is the card called uh, Disruption. This is right away Major Arcana in the traditional tarot deck i believe this is called uh the tower don't um quote me on that but i'm pretty sure that's what it means and basically what this is saying is that you are currently undergoing a tremendous amount of shifts or changes within you and there is absolutely a sense that something new is about to emerge for you whether it is you feeling a new way or something will uh transpire transpire not not that's the wrong word something will um come to you in a physical way job relationship this is mostly to do with the inner you and typically when this card shows up it is for the most part a message that there is some profound changes happening uh, within your belief system anything to do with um, patterns old ways of thinking old ways of believing old ways of relating so if you have been feeling off and the energies have been quite strange in the last a uh, few days I am recording this at the um, end of June if you are feeling this it could be energetic but it's odd also because something is going on within you where the foundation that has always been is um, for lack of a better term starting to crumble down oftentimes when I listen to other readers um, many times the card the tower card 
is talked about in um, uh, not necessarily in a negative way, but with a lot of heaviness. And I don't look at this card as a negative aspect of what's happening. I actually look at this card as something that is transformative and has the potential to completely transform your life for the better. So don't think of it as something heavy and bad. Think of it as the beginning of something new. Therefore, you can embark on a new journey. Okay. Now, the second card signifies, um, so I'm just going to bring this up. The second card signifies, um, just give me one second. Um, what actions you can take based on what's happening. So you have the card called Firm Foundation. This is to do with um, the earth element in a traditional tarot deck. This is four of cups. Uh, four to me is a number of foundation. It is a number of stability, but it's at the very beginning stages of it. So if your belief systems, if your old ways of thinking, if your entire foundation is crumbling, you are in fact will be embarking on developing a new foundation for yourself. And because this card is shown to me in um, action position or what action you should take, uh, he says to me, stand tall and don't look back. And interestingly enough, this man is standing in front of a mountain. This mountain to me represents uh, an obstacle. He's facing this obstacle, suggesting this is the way he has to go but he's not looking at it because this obstacle feels um either unattainable or unsurmountable so therefore he's looking away almost uh trying to avoid the very thing that is in front of him but what you're being urged to do is you're being urged to stand tall and don't back down and walk firmly slowly but firmly towards your desired destination now the desired destination may be something that you have in mind as a physical attainment of something or it is a destination that pertains to your frame of mind or how you um how you or your your inner foundation and i'm just checking if there's anything more yeah your inner being so with this card, regardless of what's happening right now and what you're feeling, particularly if you're feeling um, all over the place or if you're feeling off kilter, um, know that this is part of the process and know that a more stable and firmer foundation is just around the corner. And I hear the word summer, so you will feel the effects of the changes uh, later towards the summer or later in this later this summer because we're just we are already in the summer now the next card represents obstacles and challenges that you might possibly be facing and what we have is the card is called uh, emotions um, memories of love this is a suit of um, cups it is pertaining to emotions but the card was shown to me in reverse so typically this card represents um, fond memories um, attached to something that once was but because it's shown to me in reverse he's saying to me forget about the past for the future is far greater than that that which you have left um what i'm also being made aware of is that your foundation changes or the reason why you're going through this transformation may be to do with a relationship that either finished or you are leaving or are about to leave and when he says don't look back he is talking to me about some kind of emotional connection to something or someone that is now in your past but this is fairly recent okay so 
if you are contemplating, I hear this going back, I would, based on what's being said to me, I would suggest that that is not a great idea. I also hear the words not healthy. So if you in fact have left a relationship um, that was not healthy, going back is not going to make it better or ch the change that you are looking for, you will not um, receive, at least not long term, that's sustainable, okay? So this is a bit of interesting dynamic, but again, the energies have been weird this last few days. Some of the videos I've had to redo a few times. So uh, very strange. I haven't had this happen before. Now, the next card is outcome. So what will you expect? We have the card love begins. So this is another um, suit of cups. It is ace of cups in the traditional tarot deck, but it is shown in reverse. So I'm going to ask what he's saying by this. And he actually says the words to me, do not, do not cry over spilled milk. Now, obviously that's metaphor, but he's saying to me, don't look back. So whoever you are, I also see the number six, um, as in June or number six, perhaps for some of you who this is for, you're connecting with number six or with June somehow. Uh, perhaps this has ended in June or it has its roots in June or number six. In any case, um, you're being asked not to look back, but I feel like there's more. He's saying to me that you will be tempted to go back. So be prepared. Whatever you've left, I'm being told, was not the healthiest of situations. You having left it or you having gone through an ending of some, of some sort is causing you to rethink your entire existence and how you view yourself and the world around you. Um, there might be a tendency for you to think of going back wherever you came from. However, again, I would suggest that's based on what's being shown and said to me, that it is not a good idea, okay? Because you'll be going back in circles. And then he says, leave it at this. Now, the last card represents how this will affect you, but I now have two cards, which um, that in itself is very interesting. So I'm gonna look at the first card, and the, car the first card says balance. It is a major arcana. Uh, balance is pretty self-explanatory. It is balance within you. So it is the inner you. It is also a very loud message. Things happening within you. Changes happening within you. But because this card was shown to me in reverse, he's saying to me, you will need to get your bearings back. Now that's a metaphor. For those of you who may not understand what this is, I'm going to ask for a different explanation. Refocus. Because you'll be tempted to go back or at least contemplate going back where you came from, you're going to feel off balance. And he says, be firm in your convictions. That's really, really important. Before you make the decision or choice to go back or before you start contemplating of going back, remember the reasons why whatever you left was not healthy. And be firm and strong in your convictions. And I do feel someone is going to try to convince you of whether it's coming back, uh, taking back position, something. Really important for you to stand your ground. So that's the first card. The second card we have, Prosperity Begins. This is the physical aspect of who we are. So this is the earth element. This is a perfect card and it's a beautiful card, especially after all of this, because what it says is you're going through these changes and you 
being firm in your convictions and you understanding the very reason why you no longer where you left, that's going to allow you to build a brand new beginning. Now, I also hear the word partnerships and there is two hands that are joining um, together, uh, signifying a new relationship, perhaps a new job, a new career and a new beginning with regards to the physical aspect of who we are. So possessions, money, finances, health, relationships. So even though this reading feels a little bit um, on the heavier side, and I have to tell you, most if not every reading that I've done in June for July is feeling like this. So I don't know if it's the planetary planetary lineup. I'm not an astrologer. I don't know much about astrology. Uh, I don't know if it's something is a retrograde. I have no idea. But based on the fact that I've had difficulties with recording videos and my music turning itself on and off and just being feeling all over the place, this doesn't surprise me. But this card signifies is that new beginning is imminent. And that's what they, that's what spirit wants you to concentrate on and focus on. Also, do not lose sight of your vision. I'm telling you, whoever this is for, whether it's your moon sign, rising sign, sun sign, someone is going to, someone is going to want to convince you to go back to something. I get it so strongly, if it's, if it's just for one person. And whether again it's going back to a relationship or some kind of situation that didn't serve you well at the beginning really 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 contemplate before you make that choice again stay firm in your convictions i hope this makes sense as always this makes no sense to me i have no context um, I would love your comments and I do read every single comment I get, even my, in my emails and comments, even the ones that are uh, negative, which are very, very, very few. You know, I thank you for leaving a comment because I obviously struck a chord if you felt the need to uh, write even a negative comment. And for that, I thank you because you're sending your energy to me and you could have sent it to somewhere else. So uh, I am appreciative of that too. And also, please remember, if you would like a private reading to figure out what this is all about specifically for you, you can contact me at the information below. And if you cannot afford a reading or if you do not want a full reading, I do free readings every other Sunday uh, during a live radio broadcast. Uh, that information is um, under um, in a under um, information comment um, in the comments underneath my information and it's also on my website so feel free to call um, and I would be more than happy to give you a free reading and that happens every other Sunday so plenty of opportunities to call this is a US based number so for those of you who are in US um, this would most likely be free until the month of August I wish you best of luck take care of yourself and thank you so much for listening sharing and for watching and subscribing I am forever grateful to you and I thank you again and see you in August.